All right, you guys, so to continue our little series, I had my hair in a braid, so now we're gonna take it out. Don't be. I like it. Um, you can see that it is, has like a healthy shine to it. That's because when it's in a braid, I like to put the coconut oil over top, and it's like, ooh, it's all shiny. Um, yeah, it's just like healthy. <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna take it out of the side ponytail. All right. All right, now that we got that done, we're gonna take just a cheap brush. You don't wanna take your real one because then you'll obviously be getting oil in it and that'll be disgusting. Um, this is my powder brush that I use for my hair on a daily and nightly basis. So now we're gonna brush through, brush through. Um, now it's your choice whether you choose to do your hair dry or wet. I personally like to do mine wet. So I have a towel over at the other thing. Let me get it. Just a small one. It is a body towel, but hey, I'm small. Don't like it. So the, co the container that you're going to need is not very big. It could be about this size. All right. Um, another thing that you may want to use. Now, if you don't have it, I suggest you go and get them because they're actually really good for summer. Is a clip like this to section. 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 To section off your hair. I give you a temple. Clone side. Clone side. I hope I am like pronouncing my words enough for you guys. I really am. I'm trying. Um. Yeah. So you're gonna take the top section of your hair and we're gonna twist it. No. I have a purple one in my room somewhere, and that one is like 10 times creepy. Okay. So you're just gonna wanna fold it like that, make it like a little bow on the top of your head. <laughs> make a mess. Take your clip, and literally just grab all that hair and keep it off there. Okay. Now, if you have another one, this is where it's gonna come in handy. Hang on, let me go and get it. All right, you guys, I'm back. This is what it looks like. So now we're gonna have to re-section our hair because when I was looking for it, I kind of just looked let go of my hair. Okay. Twisty, twisty, twist. Now we're going to pull that hair across. Just keep it like that. Now, here's the first one that we're going to be doing, which is the extra virgin olive oil, which is just for the ends. So we're gonna pour some. Just about that much. Now you can choose to do yours wet or dry. I personally like to do mine wet. So, get all this extra hair off my counter. We're gonna take this last little section that we have. Um, do it in a shirt that you don't really care about. This is a PJ shirt, so I don't really care if it gets oily. So, we're going to get hot water on here. And we're just going to basically run our hand through our hair and just kind of get it wet. There we go. That's done. Now we're going to brush it through. 
No, I literally just take my ends. Soaky, soak, soak. Okay. This is just the mask to repair uh, damaged ends. Now I do some heat styling to my hair and my hair is like really thin and as you guys can see I lose hair by the second. Okay, we're gonna rub it all up in our hair. Okay. Let me dry off my hands or better yet, let me wash my hands and then I'll turn you guys off. Just so I can touch my phone, this is what I do. do with this mask or actually you could do it with both of them I guess um put a dry towel in the dryer and heat it up and then you can just keep it in your hair for about an hour and have it good that way I'll be right back all right you guys so as you can see my hair is all in oil now remember this is the extra virgin olive oil mask that I am showing you. This is the one to repair split ends. The next one that I will be showing you is a mixture of coconut oil and honey. We will be getting to that in an hour. So another thing, I don't know if I said this because I have to record this in parts. <laughs> um, another thing that you can do, you can do this two other ways. Now to keep it off, you're skin the shirt because when it rubs against the shirt it can break your ends even easier because your hair is wet and your hair is more breakable that way now you can choose to use a clip like this i don't know what's this i believe it's called a butterfly clip I'm not, woo, as i drop it <laughs> um my hands are still slicked in oil right now so um butterfly clip or this one now these ones tend to work better for me so as you can see, it's all come through. So we're just gonna take it, twist it up, and pin it almost sideways. Okay. So you can do it like that, and then you can take and leave it like that. Or if that bugs you, because it sure as heck bugs me, you can, again, you can use your other clip like we had. This is just an example. I'm not going to keep it like this. Um, you can do it like that and let the mask sit in the hair that way. Or you can take a towel, put it in the dryer, warm it up for 5-10 minutes while you have your hair like this. And then when it's warm, Flip your hair down and then wrap it up. I will be right back and I'm going to start editing this video like crazy. Bye.